I uh, made a piece of test track to illustrate the wiring of the MP5 point motor. Uh, the track that I'm using is uh, Pico Streamline FlexiTrack code 75. Uh, in the test track I've used a right hand electrofrog point which I will control uh, with the MP5 point motor. Um, on the upper right uh, you can see uh, my SET21 DCC controller with Wi-Fi router. Uh, that provides uh, the track with AC power supply. Um, the MP5 uh, point motor itself can be supplied with both AC and DC power. Um, however, I uh, want to operate all my points on the layout with double pole, double throw switches that I can control from a central console. In addition, I want uh, to have red and green LEDs on that console to indicate the direction in which each of the points is uh, thrown. Now, for the uh, red and green LEDs, I'm using bicolor LEDs, and these require DC power supply. Therefore, um, I decided to um, supply both the MP5 switch motor and the LEDs with DC power, so that I can throw the switch motor and change the coloring of the LEDs simultaneously. Um, in addition, I can then feed the AC power supply uh, from the bus wire into one of the MP5 auxiliary contacts, which will in turn uh, feed the point's uh, frog. Uh, when the point motor is then switched, the auxiliary contact switches the polarity of the frog simultaneously. Okay, so let me uh, give a very quick demonstration of that. So here you see uh, the LED lights uh, with the double pole, double throw switch. Um, as it stands now, uh, the train would go straight ahead. And if I would flip uh, the switch here, you can see that uh, the coloring of the uh, uh, LEDs uh, swaps and that the point uh, is uh, thrown. So there we go. So that is working. And to also demonstrate that um, the wiring is done properly, I will run a train over that um, like uh, this. Okay, this is uh, what the wiring under the test track looks like. Uh, let me start with the DC power supply, which is coming in from this yellow and brown uh, wire. Uh, that goes straight to the double pole, double throw switch with the cross uh, wiring on top here, as you can see. And then the wiring coming out of that goes into that block and then out of there into the MP5 uh, point motor. Um, the wiring with the yellow and the brown wires, as you see here, that is exactly as per the instructions for a two-wire coupling. And um, with this coupling, I can throw the point motor as I will demonstrate. So if I flip the switch, the point motor is thrown. So then next I have the LEDs. Um, here I have soldered two LEDs in series. Uh, so those are two bicolor LEDs um, and those are soldered uh, cathode to cathode. Uh, as you can also see is that uh, I have coupled them in parallel with the power supply of the MP5 motor. And again, just a quick demonstration, if I flip the switch you see the coloring is swapping. Uh, and then uh, the last uh, thing here is uh, the AC power supply. This is the AC coming from the bus wire uh, into this block and then straight on <coughs> into uh, one of the auxiliary contacts of the MP5 motor like that. Um, and then uh, this coupling here with the red and the black wire that then feeds the green wire coming out of there, uh, which then goes on to the frog. Uh, 